Hello out there. My name is Ben, and uh, today I am going to be looking at Logic Pro X. Uh, it's pretty new to me. I know it's not super new. It came out, I think, this summer, uh, but I've only had it about a week or so, and um, don't really know a whole lot about it. But uh, I'm going to start from scratch, and um, basically I've just got two acoustic guitar tracks here. I don't have two microphones, I just have one, so I just re you know, recorded the same thing uh, twice. And what I'm going to do is basically sweeten this up and uh, do some really minor editing and basically show you what I would do to sweeten up the sound of two acoustics in a stereo spread. Uh, so first off, I'm going to rename my tracks. So this is Guitar 1. And this is Acoustic 2. Okay, and I'm just going to play this back real quick so you can hear what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much it. Um, I've got a just an Epiphone acoustic guitar, and it's recorded through a Blue Encore 200, which is basically like a a glorified SM58. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do here is first I'm gonna start by uh, doing some EQ on the guitars, just because. Um, that's super easy to do, and for a first thing to do, it's very simple. So I'm going to, so, um, I'm going to mute this guy, and I'm going to put acoustic one down the middle, and I'm going to double click on EQ, and this is just Apple's stock EQ. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this EQ, and since I know the two tracks are the same, I'm going to copy it over to the other channel. So now when I pan them left and right again and play back, Not a whole lot of tweaking done, but as you can see, I just kind of gave it a little more low end and some high end and took out some nasties in the middle. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to add a compressor to this because acoustic guitar, in my opinion, sounds really good with a little bit of compression on it. Uh, and again, I'm just going to use um, the stock compressor here in Logic. So let's see what we got.
Okay, so just doing some real basic uh, tweaking here, going through the different circuit types. Um, not really sure what each one of these are, but each one has a distinct flavor. Um, I've kind of dialed in a nice sound, um, and I'm just going to switch the compressor on and off so you can hear the difference. So as you can see, I was getting about two to three decibels of gain reduction here. Um, and for an acoustic guitar, you probably don't want much more than that. You don't want to squash the crap out of it. Um, but what you do want to do is make it so that your pick attack appears to be about the same volume as everything else. And that really helps that pick attack to just jump out in the mix. Um, so again, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this compressor to the other track and unmute it and let's take a listen to both of them together. All right, so this is sounding, you know, pretty good, better than the dry tracks. Um, but what I'd like to do next is add some reverb uh, to my tracks. And what I could do is put a reverb processor on each channel. But you wouldn't want to do that because if you were in a large session and you had reverb tracks, uh, reverb processors on each channel, you're going to eat up your processing uh, in your computer and slow it down to a halt. So what you would do, um, and in the most absolute simple way, you would just open up your mixer by hitting the X key, which is what I had here. So hit X to open this guy up. Come over here to sends, and you'll notice I don't have any, any other auxiliary buses or anything. So to create one, real simply, and there might be other ways to do this, but what I like to do is I just come in here and I say, okay, I'm gonna send it to bus one, which doesn't exist yet, but when I click on this, it automatically creates aux one. And I'm gonna rename this verb. So um, what I will do then is I will go here to my effects. I will go to reverb. And I'm still playing around with this. I don't know uh, what good sounds are, but uh, I'm gonna try platinum verb here. Okay, so here's my reverb processor. All right, so now that this guitar is, this channel is routed to my reverb processor, uh, again, I'm going to mute this one, pan this to the middle, and I'm going to hit play and then I'm just going to grab this little knob here and turn it up in the auxiliary. Okay, so clearly it was working, but I don't like the sound of that reverb. Um, so I'm just going to go through here and pick a different uh, preset. Let's see. Let's do the big room. Okay, and you know, I'm not finger picking or anything, so it's, uh, reverb isn't really adding a whole lot to this sound. But what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna, I'm going to send it to bus one. And this one was at zero, so I'm gonna turn this up to zero. And unmute. 
minute. Let's see what that sounds like. So we've got our reverb how we like it uh, for the sake of time. And what I want to do now is, what if I want to take both of these tracks and route them through a bus in order to um, do bus compression on them? You know, compress the two tracks at the same time, maybe add an overall EQ to both tracks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to their output. I'm going to right click. And I'm not going to send it to my stereo output. I'm going to send it to another bus. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to send it to bus two. And you'll notice that bus two, there is no bus two. Uh, so by sending it to bus two, you'll notice we've created another aux. So this one I'm going to call guitars. And I might give it a different color to distinguish it. it distinguish it from my reverb. Okay, so now that this is routed to bus two, I need to do the same thing to this one. And when I hit play, you'll notice now everything is being routed through bus two which then is going to my stereo output. So from here, I can take another uh, compressor and compress them both together. Okay, so uh, basically they're being compressed together. I added a lot of beef to them. What I'm gonna do just for fun, I'm gonna get rid of all my compressors and all my EQs, and we will listen to what this sounds like uh, as the dry before I did anything. Okay, and now I'm going to turn everything on uh, as it plays. So you'll notice we added a lot of warmth, um, a lot of clarity, and a lot more punch. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, creating buses. Uh, group, you know, assigning your channels to a bus and doing bus compression, bus EQ. Uh, now, basically, I have the ability to do whatever I want to both guitars. So, you know, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that I wasn't too confusing. Um, I'm still trying to figure this out. I, I like Logic. Um, I'm coming over from Pro Tools, uh, and I. I liked Pro Tools 11, it's a great platform, but uh, I wanted to try Logic, and from what I've seen so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So uh, anyway, hope you uh, have a great time mixing, and I'll catch you later.